So I was out walking today and I found this. Um, yay, it's a puff ball. It's a very easy to identify um, mushroom because um, you can't screw these up very much and they are pretty good eating. So the way you can tell if this is a good one actually is we're going to cut it off and yeah it's nice and white on the inside beautiful color and there's no major wormholes not that that's too much of a concern for me I always say it's just a little extra free protein um, so anyway we're gonna take this home and we'll peel it um, and slice it up and saute it this is a calvadia which is the genus of puffball. And I believe this is the um, Cyathiformis, um, or the purple spored puffball. Um, we have several different uh, species in this area. And this is just the right time of year. It just started um, getting into rainy season, so we should see these coming up pretty frequently here in the coming weeks, which is great. Um, so puffballs are hard to screw up. The important thing is with the puffballs you want to slice them down the middle and make sure there's not a mini mushroom growing on the inside. Um, there are some poisonous mushrooms uh, like the amanitas which uh, when they're in, immature and they look like they um, look like a puffball because they are in the vulvar stage, they have a, like a cup egg shape around the outside of the mushroom. And there are some mushroom poisonings that could be avoided if people would just slice open what they believe are puff balls first to make sure there's not a mini mushroom going on the inside. So anyway, we'll see if we can find some more.